Well, good morning. Um, I'm happy to see everybody here this morning. Uh, had a little rain last night. That's a pretty cool blessing. So, my name is Al King. I'm going to be uh, leading the service this morning. And the subject of the service is the power of a meditation practice. The power of a meditation practice. At Sunburst, we talk about meditation a lot, but sometimes not as much about the practice itself. So, let's start with, why are we even here? We find ourselves an old immortal spirit in a physical body for a relatively short time. And in this seeming dream, this movie that's going on that we're actors in, so what is it that's our part? And it seems like the most important thing that we have to do is to come to the realization that God is within us. The kingdom of God is within us. Our divine parents, our creator, are here within us as we go about in this body. And it's our primary job to realize that, to experience that, to sit with our divine parents and communicate with them. And in order to do that, it's really helpful to have a technique of meditation. And so that's what we're going to be talking about is establishing a regular meditation practice. So I'm going to ask that we uh, get an um, audio clip started. And this is from Norm Paulson. And it was from a uh, retreat weekend talk in September of 2003. In meditation, I learned how to really tithe to God, to offer up my love, my energy, everything that was me. This offering that God might accept my tithe and reveal Himself to me. Wondrous it is to think that this conscious divine being. that is here in this room today with us can be seen and known and felt that can give us guidance, direction and healing. That this is really a possibility And this possibility exists for each one of us today. I hope you all have um, are able to enjoy hearing Norm, the voice of Norm Paulson, who founded Sunburst. I know I I sure do. I enjoy it every time I'm able to hear him. So one of the things that he mentions in this clip is when we meditate, 
we are making a tithe to our divine parents, to God. And when we meditate, we offer up to the divine our love, our energy, our time, our attention. Norm referred to this as as the true tithe. Now, tithing, you know, financially to to the church is helpful too because the church, you know, needs means to, to support its work. But the real tithe is offering our life force to our divine parents. So, um, I'd like to continue with the um, uh, Norm speaking. In meditation, I learned how to really tithe to go on. To offer up my love, my energy, everything that was me. This offering that God might accept my tithe and reveal himself to me. Wondrous it is to think that this conscious divine being that is here in this room today with us can be seen and known and felt that can give us guidance, direction, and healing. That this is really a possibility. And this possibility exists for each one of us today. One of the things that we can gather from this is that God wants to participate in our lives. In order for that to happen, we need to be aware of his presence within us. We need to know that God is already within us and wanting to communicate with us. Meditation is how we set up that communication with divine spirit, with I am that I am. I'm now going to read a quote from Paramahansa Yogananda. And he refers to this, this knowing of God's presence within us as self-realization. Self-realization is the knowing in all parts of body, mind, and soul that you are now in possession of the kingdom of God, that you do not have to pray that it come to you, that God's omnipresence is your omnipresent, and that all that you need to do is improve your knowing. It seems to me that all too often we end up asking Spirit for that which we already have, rather than asking for help in realizing that we are already in possession of what can be referred to as the pearl of great price, the experience of God within us. And meditation is the tool for improving that knowing. So if we want to develop any type of talent or attribute, 
we would do well to create a practice that will bring that desire to fruition. I'm going to use music as an analogy here. If you decide that you want to be a guitar player, let's say, you're going to need to spend a lot of time in practice learning skills, learning to do specific tasks. Through, through that practice, you're going to learn how to put together the beat, the rhythm, the harmonic relationships, the knowledge of melodic flow, and you, when you can bring all of that together, you can produce a pleasant piece of music. But this requires mastering specific techniques, and in order to master them, you need to practice them. A guitar player that's going to play, you know, screaming riffs is going to have to spend time memorizing those riffs before it's time for the performance. So meditation is like that as well. Meditation is a skill. It's a skill that will really benefit us if we learn it. To start, it's good to have a specific technique. And here at Sunburst, we teach the Kriya meditation as the technique that we use to try to achieve this wonderful space. Now you can sit down with love and devotion and say, okay, I'm, I'm ready to see God face to face. Let's have a conversation. But without having a means that you've developed, it's going to be hard to, to hear God. So if you have a technique that you've practiced, technique for communication with your Creator, this will go better. Love and devotion are extremely important, but you need to couple that with a practice. Nearly every morning, I start, even before I'm hardly out of bed, doing stretches on the bed. Then I move to either hatha yoga or physical therapy exercises. So I spend some time virtually every day in a practice of that, that will help me physically uh, keep my body in shape so that I can do all of the tasks that I need to do. And what I find is if I skip a day, it's really hard or it's harder the next day not to skip it. There's always a lot of reasons, things that have to be done. There's a ton of great reasons to skip your practice. And consistency, whether you're learning to play a musical instrument, whether you're dealing with your, your physical practice, or with meditation, consistency is extremely important. So we, we've talked about the technique. We practice Kriya Yoga here. And another aspect is then setting a time, setting a schedule, setting a place. It's very helpful to have a have a place here on the ranch, of course, we all, or a lot of us are, are gathering here in this room uh, most mornings and at a specific time. But if you're not able to do that, you know, have a, try to set up a time and place where you can practice your meditation. In the morning, preferably, it's first thing. And then both Paramahansa Yogananda and Norm stressed should meditate 
in the morning and in the evening. So when we sit down to meditate in the morning, first thing, what we are doing, or one of the things that we're doing, is we're setting up the intention for the day, the theme for the day. We're setting up how the day is going to unfold. We want to bring to mind the fact that our divine parents are present within us, our best friends and companions. Apparently, whether they want to be there or not, um, they're there. So we want to practice establishing contact with our divine parents. So we'll practice the technique, go through the exercise. And after, after performing the, the technique for, for a while, hopefully the thoughts have subsided and you can enter into this beautiful place of peace, of bliss, of love and joy. So that's the beginning that we want to we want to do this every day even if you don't have long take at least a few minutes to make contact before you run off to do something else now during the day we all have to deal with all kinds of of energies and these energies can lead to frustration, aggravation, sometimes even anger. But if we've started out with our meditation first thing in the morning, it's easier to do a reset. We can, you know, we can't necessarily stop and um, and go sit and meditate for five minutes. But what we can do is we can stop focus, take a deep breath, and then mentally go back to that place where we were in our morning meditation. Go back to that place where we're feeling the presence of spirit within us, when we're feeling the love and the joy, and not the frustration of banging your knuckles on a piece of hard steel when the wrench slips when you're working on a piece of equipment. So the other time that it's important to meditate, and this doesn't mean that we can't stop and meditate at other times during the day, but the two most important times are in the morning, as early to first thing as possible, and then in the evening. So again, we want to set up a time and a place where we can sit and spend time with our divine companions. As we sit down, we may do a quick review of the day. We can thank Spirit for all the blessings that we've received that day. We can acknowledge the things that maybe we could have done better and try to reflect and learn on from that. And then start quieting down the thoughts and start performing the technique, performing the exercise, practicing experiencing our parents' presence. And after practicing the technique for a while, hopefully we'll slip into that beautiful place of bliss, of ecstasy, of joy, of peace.
and then we'll have prepared ourselves for a good sleep. So at this point, we're going to go into a period of, of silent meditation. For those of us that have been initiated into Korea, we'll be practicing that meditation. If you have another technique of meditation, you can practice that. If you're unfamiliar with, with any technique of meditation, you're going to want to sit comfortably and quietly. You're going to want to choose a, a way to sit that you can sit without moving for a while. And then you're going to want to focus your attention. And one of the things that we can do is take our gaze and focus it on a point just right out in front of us. We can close our eyes or have them part open, but try to keep your gaze at that point. And then as you breathe, make your breaths long and slow, deep. And then imagine that breath going up and down your spine. And let your, your attention follow that breath as the breath goes in and out and feel it go up and down. So we'll go into this time of silent meditation and as we're going in, April will play the bowls.
Divine Mother Father, our constant companions. <clears throat> Thank you for your presence in this temple this morning. And within these bodies, And we ask for your help. In helping us develop the realization of your constant presence Amen. Each one of us has a unique relationship with our divine parents, with our Creator. Each one of us will experience their presence in perhaps a little different way. Some people are more visual, and describe seeing a brilliant white light. Others may hear a voice. And some of us will experience that presence as a feeling, a feeling of love, a feeling of ecstasy. But our relationship with our divine parents is unique for each of us. I can remember in times past when We'd get up and <clears throat> my wife would say, Ah, I saw the saw the sun again. And I'm thinking, hey, what about me? <laughs> When's my turn to see the sun? And I've come to realize that each of us does have, have a unique experience of that Divine Presence. Hands that heal the sick 
and hands that set the stone Hands that rock the babe to sleep And I know the cradle of my soul How could this world lose sight of you? How could it ever let you out of view? From such a glorious start to such a tragic end All I know through it all in my life I want you back again I know I'll find you I know I'll see could be there to swear the stream is not but a trickle from the rocks you hear my boy in laughter soothing sounds of spilling waters lo my streams become a river and my joys will Fill up oceans I know I'll find you I know I'll see you I long to meet you I long to be in you I know I'll find you I know I'll see you silent waiting holding space when your heart is asking about its next breath I could be riding in that wind I could be riding in that wind I could be riding Turn and whirl in motion, set us into play. The same returns, release, restores us in our day. And in the frontmost part, of my life, I keep it sealed. In simple truth, I am a wheel.